What is up everybody? Drake here with DSF Financial, showing you guys the ATM industry and how to get your money working for you through passive income. We have one of our locations right now, uh, one of the clubs that we have, that is out of money. It was a good Friday last night, or yesterday, and apparently a lot of people like to party, so it went out. Today is 420, which also is a very busy uh, day for the club, so I'm making sure to get down there uh, right now. Hopefully, it's early enough though to where it's not too crazy. I don't really like going into the clubs and stuff, uh, carrying obviously a bunch of money if I can prevent it. I'll try and bring you guys along. Obviously, I haven't done a lot of videos inside of our location, so I don't know if it's okay with the owners and whatnot. I gotta double check with them. If so, stay tuned, I'll bring you all along. As I'm leaving my neighborhood right now, I had to double check to make sure that I had the ATM door keys. Uh, there's been two times now where I've had to uh, go back home because I forgot the darn keys. And this location, you know, is 18 minutes away. I usually have to go down there in an emergency because they get super busy all of a sudden. Uh, depending on an event or something that they have. And without fail, I've forgotten the keys a couple times. So I had to make sure to double check that I had the keys. <laughs> so here we are at the location uh, that I'm trying to fill up the ATM. They got super busy last night. They're gonna be busy again tonight, seeing that it's 420. So I wanted to make sure to fill up the ATM. I wanted to show you guys the full process of it, but it was pretty darn dark in there still. Uh, so I wasn't able to do that very well. So I've decided to just show you guys me actually filling the cash box. A super important thing when filling up the ATM is to make sure that there's no creases or folds, the bills aren't super dirty, which can jam up the machine. So that's one thing that I'm super diligent on. For security aspects, I usually do this process before I enter the establishment. I don't want to have cash laying out all over the place like I have now because I don't want to target on my back. I'm doing it now though, because there is literally nobody in the establishment. It is just me and one of the owners. So I feel safe doing it right now and taking a video for you guys. I'm not sure you guys noticed, but when I first opened up the cash box, I opened it up with a physical key. I have that key attached to my hip at all times for easy access. I don't wanna be looking for a key randomly if I don't have to be. So I have it on a retractable keychain, which does help me out when opening and closing the machine. When I first open up the box, I take out the cash that's still left in there. In this case, there was just a $20 bill left, meaning that there was only one transaction left somebody could have made, and then the machine would have been out. So it looks like I got there just in time. I then go through all of the bills uh, quickly, but I do go through them to make sure that None of them are bent, have creases, are super dirty. Seeing that money is super dirty, it does gum up the device, so I don't want that to happen, obviously. Just like your computer printer at home as well, it does get paper jams. So if I make sure to go through each of those bills to make sure there aren't creases, to make sure they aren't dirty, I'm protecting myself for the future to make sure there's no downtime for that ATM. Susie does kind of give me crap about it because of how meticulous I am with it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, and I'm going to go through those bills as much as I can to make sure we don't have any downtime on the ATM. After I am done going through all the stacks of money, I stack them up and then put them back into the machine. One thing to note, if there is a bill that is still questionable, make sure to put that in the back of the stack of cash. That way, if it does have an issue, if it does jam up the machine, it's at the very last of the ATM cycle. So you're a lot less likely to miss money because of it jamming up. All in all, filling that machine does only take a minute or two in total, but make sure to spend that extra 30 seconds to a minute to go through those bills to make sure you don't have any jams. It's well worth the time. Filling that machine actually reminded me of a time where I had to fill that machine uh, after midnight 
Uh, one of the times I got a text message just before midnight, uh, like 12.45, probably 12.50, something like that, saying that the machine was low on funds, meaning it was uh, $500 or less inside of the machine. It was just before midnight during South by Southwest, which is a huge music festival here in town. The club was super busy. They were hosting uh, some sort of fashion show, runway, everything like that. Um, so it was super busy night, high covers, uh, which obviously made the ATM get pretty busy. So I got the text message from the machine. Yes, I get text messages from my ATM machines letting me know that they're low on money, having an issue, something like that. So send me the text, $500 or less on the machine. So I pull up the app. Uh, this time it's about uh, midnight. Pull up the app. Holy crap. It has $440 left in the machine. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get there, I gotta go fill the machine. Last thing I want is to miss out on revenue because the machine is empty and I didn't fill it up properly. So I get dressed, you know, throw on my clothes. Gotta make sure I'm looking decent though because I am going into a nightclub. I don't wanna look homeless or just like I rolled out of bed. Let Susie know, babe, gotta go fill up the ATM. All right, I'm off. I go to the bank take out $1,500, which is the max that I'm allowed for my daily limit, uh, $1,500. I'm like, all right, cool. I got this. Start to leave the uh, ATM at my bank, hit the freeway. What happens? Crap. I forgot the freaking ATM keys to get to the safe. So... I exit, flip a bitch, head back home. I'm at a stoplight, check the app again. Whoa, it only has $200 left in it. Whew, money's flying out of that thing. Get home, get the ATM, about to leave my house. Guess what? Check the app again, zero dollars in there. And by then, uh, it's probably about 12, 20 maybe, 1225 uh, midnight and the ATM's out of money and it is obviously flying out of there like crazy. So I got to rush there, hit the pedal to the metal. <laughs> On my way there, guess what happens? Guess, guess? The owner of the club calls. Hey Drake. The ATM's out of money. We are super busy. We could really use you. I got it, man. Already on the way. We're all set. So I let him know. Already on the way. On it. Which is a good thing because it shows that we're trying to be proactive as well as a company. Make sure to get there. Everything's good. Get there by about uh, 1240 maybe. 1242. The club is super busy. I have all this cash on me, obviously, so I'm a little bit nervous walking into a super busy establishment like that, but we do what we got to do. So I get up to the door. I'm about to get frisked because they do have security there. I'm doing the whole wand thing, making sure everybody's safe to enter. Luckily, the owner of the club spots me and then walks me right on by security. Uh, so that meant that nobody had to fill me up, um, which potentially fill up the cash. I don't carry a backpack or something like that with me uh, to hold the cash because I want to be as inconspicuous as possible. So I just have the bills uh, just in a little bank envelope, a cash envelope, and then in my front pocket. So I get inside the club. I literally have to shimmy my way through. I'm not a small guy by any means, but I have to shimmy, 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 tiptoe around to make sure that, uh, that I don't you know, nudge everybody, people are dancing, having a good time, drunk, all that stuff. Um, but I have one goal in mind to get that ATM filled. I shimmy my way into the, into the bar, get to the ATM. What do you know? There's three people in line waiting for the ATM. One of which, the one at the actual ATM trying to use it, is so drunk, he doesn't realize that it's out of order. So he keeps trying to put his card in, put his card in, nothing happens. I come in like a knight in shining armor, let him know, hey guys, I'm here to fix it for you. I try and push them aside just because I try not to have a ton of people around me when I'm dealing with the ATM. I don't want somebody looking over my shoulder or something like that at the lock. 
which unfortunately did end up happening. But we'll get to that. Open up the door, the key door to get into the safe lock. Start to type in the safe lock, wouldn't work. Type in the safe lock, wouldn't work. Type in the safe lock, wouldn't work. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Take a breather, type in the code, wouldn't work. So at this point, I have three people who are trying to use the ATM, trying to take money out of my ATM. I can't even get in the safe. Why can't I get in the safe? We had just installed an ATM the other day before that under a different password. And that's the password that I was typing in. And unfortunately, I timed out the lock for that ATM and it locked me out for a certain amount of time. So I couldn't even get in it if I knew the lock. So I let the guests know who are, are in line, let them know, hey, I'm, I'll be right back. I got to go get a code really quick. I'll be right back. So I step away for a couple minutes, let the lock refresh, head back over there. At this point, there's only one person waiting. She's super excited though, because she's trying to get some drinks and she needs the cash. She's happy I'm back. Type in the password, wouldn't work. Type in the password, wouldn't work. And that's when it hits me, oh crap. I'm typing in the, the code for the ATM at one of our other locations. So type in the password, opens up, perfect, except I hear gonna hit a lick. Do you guys know what that means? Guesses, guesses, hit a lick. It means someone's about to get robbed. And that ain't gonna be me. Not today, ain't no one got time for that. So I locked that thing back up stood up and looked at the two guys who had just made that comment, looked at him dead in the eye. Both of them looked at me, smiled. I smiled back and they kept on walking. Now, most times something bad happens at an ATM. It's because the bad person was just there, good time for them. And uh, they had the opportunity and they took it. But honestly, that was not about to happen to me. So I go find the owner again. I have his uh, security team walk on over to the ATM with me. They do their security stuff, bulldozing people out of the way for me, fill up the ATM, Yahtzee, good to go. I always wonder, especially in emergency type situation with the ATM industry, if it was worth it. Uh, did I wanna get out of bed at midnight to go into a poppin' club, everybody's having a good time, and fill up an ATM? No, I didn't, in all honesty, but, as a business owner, it's worth it. Luckily for that night, we ended up getting $63 after I filled up the ATM and surcharge fees. Uh, granted, there was three people waiting to use it uh, before I even got there, but 63 bucks for a total hour's work, sign me up. I hope you guys learned a little something about the ATM industry and how we're making our money work for us through passive income. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Also, leave us a thumbs up. It goes a long way. I hope you guys have a beautiful day, and we'll talk to you guys on the next one.